And because we've gotten so much rain recently, we've got a lot of grass and vegetation that can become fuel for those particular fires. And that could mean a busy wildfire season for crews. Earlier this week, we got a chance to take an inside look at the tankers our U.S. Forest Service uses to fight the flames from the sky. Check it out. Their attacks will talk to the firefighters on the ground and decide the, the tactic that they're going to use. Base manager Chris Price with the U.S. Forest Service says this jet powered beast is just one of three models and a critical tool for this country. They are a national resource, so they go anywhere in the nation that we need them. So these guys can be here today, gone tomorrow. He says Arizona and New Mexico usually spark first, so having these planes parked here help State 48 stay prepared. The importance to having these air tankers here is going to be able to, like we talked about, jump onto these fires really quick, keep them small, keep them uh, to where they're going to be in minimal damage. The tanker is only run by a crew of three, two who oversee the flight path of the flames and one who pulls the drop lever. Well, we're looking at about 9,400 gallons of retardant in here at a 9.1 pounds per gallon. With all the rain we've had recently, it lowers the risk for wildfires but increases vegetation, something staff strategize over to achieve the most secure and effective execution every time they're in the air.